the late 1800s, the then Premier of New South Wales, Henry Parks, began calling for the Australian colonies to be united by a federal bond of connection. But it wasn't until Federation, on the 1st of January 1901, that the six colonies became one Commonwealth. Federation has many benefits. It stimulates customisation and competition so different states can do things differently and allows creativity and cooperation to flourish across the country. Since Federation, there has been a gradual shift in power towards the Commonwealth. In part, that's happened because the Commonwealth raises most of the money and the states run the services. And 114 years after Federation, Australia is a very different nation facing new challenges. Federation reform has the potential to significantly change the way services are delivered to Australian citizens, as well as the public sector's roles and responsibilities. Fed up, Federation reform impacts and opportunities. The IPA 2015 National Conference in Sydney on the 14th and 15th of October reimagines how the public sector will look as a result of Federation reform and gives those working in and with the public sector the tools they'll need to excel in this changed environment. Roundtable briefings will keep you up to date with the reform options for health, education, housing and homelessness, as well as tax. Presentations from preeminent speakers will ensure you know the big issues. And the skills for the future sessions will build your capabilities and understanding of commissioning, market stewardship, big data and digital government. So register today to secure your place and learn more about the single biggest reform to impact the Australian public sector.